Dog comes to hospital, sees perfusion on his owner, then looks at doctor and realizes nasty truth. As companions, dogs offer love, loyalty, and comfort. They are known for their unconditional love, and their presence can bring joy and companionship to their owners. Many people find comfort in talking to their dogs, and some even consider their dogs to be members of their family. The bond between humans and dogs is thought to have developed over thousands of years of coexistence. Dogs have evolved to be highly attuned to human emotions and behavior, making them adept at interpreting and responding to human needs. They're also highly social animals, making them excellent companions for humans. Luciana and Franco were a couple that stood out on El Magro Street in Spain. They'd been together for 17 years and had a beautiful daughter named Sandra, who was the light of their eyes. They were known for being loving and respectful towards each other, never arguing and always finding the healthiest ways to solve their problems. Their relationship was the envy of their neighbors who looked up to them for their strong bond and positive attitudes towards life. Luciana was a strong and independent woman who worked as a lawyer in a prestigious law firm in the city. She had always been ambitious and driven, but she never let her work come in the way of her family. She made sure to always spend quality time with Franco and Sandra and never missed any important moments in their lives. Her dedication to her family and her career was something that Franco admired about her. Franco, on the other hand, was a charming and easygoing man who worked as a chef in a popular restaurant in the city. He had a passion for cooking and loved experimenting with new recipes in his free time. His culinary skills were something that Luciana and Sandra looked forward to every day, as he would always surprise them with a new dish to try. He was also a dedicated husband and father who always put his family first. Together, Luciana and Franco were a perfect match. They complemented each other's strengths and weaknesses and supported each other through thick and thin. Their love for each other was evident in everything they did, from the small gestures of affection to the grand romantic gestures. They were each other's best friend and confidant, and their relationship was built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect. Despite the challenges that life threw their way, Luciana and Franco remained committed to each other and their family. They faced their problems head-on and always found a way to come out stronger on the other side. Their positive attitude towards life and their unwavering love for each other was an inspiration to everyone who knew them. Sandra, their daughter, was the glue that held their family together. She was a happy-go-lucky child who brought joy to everyone around her. Luciana and Franco doted on her and made sure to provide her with the best education and upbringing. The birth of a child is usually a moment of great joy and happiness for a family. However, in Luciana's case, it turned out to be a traumatic event that left her weakened and with her dreams of having a big family frustrated. Luciana suffered from preeclampsia, a serious pregnancy complication that can cause high blood pressure and damage to organs such as the kidneys and liver. In Luciana's case, the condition caused her uterus to tear during an emergency procedure, which left her in a weakened state. For Luciana and Franco, the birth of their daughter Sandra was bittersweet. On the one hand, they were overjoyed to welcome their little bundle of joy into the world. On the other hand, they were devastated by the fact that Luciana's health had been compromised and their dreams of having a big family had been shattered. As a couple, they had always talked about having a big family. They both came from large families themselves and wanted to continue the tradition. They had even discussed the possibility of adopting children in the future. However, the unexpected event during Luciana's delivery changed everything. They were faced with the harsh reality that Luciana's health was more important than their dreams of having a big family. They knew that they couldn't risk putting her health in danger again by going through another pregnancy. They had to come to terms with the fact that their wishes of having a big family would have to be put on hold. The couple went through a period of mourning and sadness as they grieved the loss of their dream. It was a difficult time for them, but they knew they had to be strong for each other and for their daughter. Despite this reality, when friends and neighbors asked the uncomfortable question about when they would have their second child, they answered that little Sandra was enough for them and that she gave them all the love they needed. They didn't want to discuss the subject further as it was a sensitive topic for them. 
The truth was that in their hearts they felt frustrated about not being able to have a second child. They had always imagined themselves with a big family, and the unexpected event during Luciana's delivery had shattered their dreams. They knew that they were lucky to have Sandra, who was a source of joy and happiness for them, but they couldn't help feeling a sense of loss for the child they never had. Luciana and Franco had tried to conceive a second child, but it seemed that fate was not on their side. They had consulted with doctors and explored different options, but nothing seemed to work. It was a painful experience for them, but they tried to remain positive and hopeful that one day they would be blessed with another child. Their friends and neighbors meant well when they asked about their plans for a second child, but the question was uncomfortable and brought up painful memories for Luciana and Franco. They felt that people didn't understand the depth of their struggle and the emotions that they were going through. They wished that people would be more sensitive and aware of the impact of their words. It was not easy to talk about a subject that was so personal and raw, and they hoped that people would respect their decision to keep their struggles private. When Sandra turned 15, Luciana and Franco were surprised with the news that Luciana was pregnant. It was a joyful moment for the family, but it also came with a sense of apprehension. Luciana had always felt unwell throughout the pregnancy, and Franco took extra care to ensure that she was comfortable and had everything she needed. As the due date approached, Luciana's condition worsened. She was exhausted and struggling to keep up with the demands of pregnancy. Franco took care of her, and he did everything he could to ease her discomfort. They knew that the delivery was going to be difficult, but they were hopeful that everything would turn out well. When the time came for the delivery, Luciana was admitted to the clinic under the supervision of doctors. She had been in the hospital for more than a month as her condition required constant monitoring and care. Franco was by her side throughout the whole ordeal, offering his love and support every step of the way. Despite the difficulties, Luciana gave birth to a healthy baby girl. The family was overjoyed and relieved that everything had gone well. They named their daughter Isabella, and she brought a new level of happiness and love to their already close-knit family. The experience was a challenging one for Luciana and Franco, but it only served to strengthen their bond as a family. They had gone through a difficult pregnancy and delivery, but they had come out on the other side with a new addition to their family. They were grateful for the love and support of their friends and family who had helped them throughout the tough times. As Isabella grew up, she became an intelligent and strong young girl full of love and affection. She had a natural charm and charisma that endeared her to everyone she met. She quickly became the conceited one of the home, with her infectious laughter and bright smile lighting up the room. As Isabella's older sister, Sandra, was also proud of her younger sibling's accomplishments, but their physical appearance was something that always drew attention. When the two sisters went out together, people would often mistake them for mother and daughter, a curious situation that always made them laugh. Isabella was a natural leader, and her intelligence and charisma helped her excel in all areas of her life. She was an excellent student, and her teachers praised her for her dedication and hard work. She was also an accomplished athlete and participated in several sports at school. Her competitive spirit and drive helped her excel in everything she did. When Sandra and Ulysses left for Madrid to start their university studies, Isabella was only three years old and felt sad at home without her older sister. Luciana and Franco noticed the sadness in their daughter and decided to do something about it. They bought her a puppy, whom they called Spike, to keep her company and bring some joy into her life. Despite the efforts of her parents, Isabella missed her sister terribly. She longed for the company of her older sibling and felt a sense of emptiness without her around. However, Luciana and Franco trusted in their daughter's abilities and knew that she would be able to cope with the separation. One day, while Sandra and Ulysses were visiting home, they decided to take Isabella with them to Madrid. It was a happy moment for Isabella, who was thrilled to be reunited with her sister. However, their journey took a turn for the worse when a car began to close the road on Ulysses, causing him to hit a trailer with great force. The news of the accident was devastating, and it reached the ears of Luciana and Franco immediately. They rushed to the scene of the accident in their car, desperate to see their daughter and her boyfriend. It was a tense moment as they waited for news on their condition. 
The events that followed the accident were tragic and devastating for Luciana and Franco. They rushed to the hospital in Madrid, but were prevented from passing by the police, who redirected them to the hospital. Luciana was desperate as she waited in the waiting room, fearing the worst. When she received the news that Sandra and Ulysses had passed away, it was a crushing blow for the family. They were left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives, and the pain of their loss was indescribable. However, there was another tragedy that had already befallen the family. For a year, Luciana and Franco had been waiting for their daughter Isabella to be released from a coma. It was a difficult time for the family, as they held on to the hope that she would one day wake up. One day, an elderly doctor approached the mother and told her about a new drug that was being tested to provoke reactions in patients in a coma. The doctor asked if they could try the drug on Isabella, and after careful consideration, the parents agreed to the treatment. The news that Isabella had not responded to the new drug treatment was devastating for Luciana and Franco. They had held on to the hope that their daughter would one day wake up from her coma, but now it seemed like that would never happen. Luciana threw herself on the floor and cried while Franco tried to console her. After the disappointing news, the couple went home to rest. As they left the hospital, they saw a furry yellow ray that ran towards them from outside the girl's room and barked like crazy. They recognized it as their dog, Spike, who had run about 10 kilometers from home to the hospital. Several people tried to take the dog, but it refused to be grabbed. Suddenly, a cry was heard from inside the hospital, and it was the voice of the girl. She was standing looking at the dog and saying, Spike, you're a bad dog. It was an incredible moment as everyone in the hospital was shocked to see Isabella standing up and talking after being in a coma for so long. The parents were overjoyed and could not believe what they were seeing. They rushed to their daughter's side, and the doctors confirmed that she had indeed woken up from her coma. It was a miracle and they were filled with gratitude and happiness. Spike, the family dog, had played a crucial role in Isabella's awakening. His unwavering loyalty and love for the family had driven him to run all the way to the hospital to be with his owners. His presence had somehow triggered something in Isabella, and she finally woke up. The awakening of Isabella was a miraculous event that surprised everyone in the hospital. The girl who had never woken up was suddenly on her feet and talking, thanks to the presence of their beloved dog, Spike. The hospital staff was amazed by the sudden turn of events and couldn't believe what they were seeing. Despite the joy of the moment, the hospital authorities did not allow Spike to enter the premises due to concerns about hygiene and infection control. However, it was clear to everyone that the dog had played a crucial role in Isabella's awakening. He'd somehow sensed that his beloved owner had returned to life and had made the long journey to the hospital to be with her. It was a joyous reunion for the family when Isabella was discharged from the hospital. She was finally reunited with her parents and her sister Sandra, who had played a pivotal role in the events leading up to her awakening. It was Sandra and her boyfriend Ulysses who had visited Isabella in her dream, asking her to return home and take care of their parents. They had given her the task of finding Spike, who had arrived at the hospital just in time to help bring Isabella back to life. The dream that Isabella had been living in was a beautiful forest and a rainbow and butterflies that she'd caught with a net. It was a place of happiness and joy, but it was also a place of isolation and loneliness. The dream had kept her in a coma for so long, but the love and loyalty of her family and the presence of her beloved dog had brought her back to the world of the living. In conclusion, the awakening of Isabella was a miraculous event that brought joy and happiness to the family. The presence of Spike, their loyal dog, had played a crucial role in the events leading up to their awakening. It was a reminder of the power of love and strength of the human spirit and a testament to the bond between humans and their animal companions.